Welcome to Dragon Quest Builders 2, it's Abyss, and in this video today, I'm going to show you how to breed rare pets. So we are going to breed a rare dog and a rare cat. Also, this guide will help you unlock the trophy called Rare Breeder. Now in the pinned comment, I will have timestamps for each individual section, just in case you want to jump to any part of this video. So the first thing we need to do is go and pick up two dogs. They are fairly simple to befriend. You just need to sneak up behind the animal and pet it. The next area that we're going to go to is another explorer island called Sandy Sands. And that's where we're going to pick up two cats. So I'll be back for the next part to explain more. All right, so now that we have our animals, we need to build two separate rooms. One for the two cats on the right, and one for the two dogs on the left. These are called natural animal houses. We need a wooden door, which I'm showing you right now, a pet bowl right there, two pet beddings, so you know they can sleep in their own bed, one haystack, which you see that right there in the corner, and really important, two nameplates so that we can put one dog and the other dog in one room and then the other room will have the other cat and then the other cat. They need to be in separate rooms. You can't have cat and dog. You need dog and dog in one room, cat and cat in the other. And then last, we're gonna need some meat and we basically are gonna get that in the next section but you're gonna put the meat in the pet bowl to constantly feed the animals so that we can bring up their happiness to 100%. And last, a bed to sleep in at night, but I will go over that a little bit more later. All right, so now we need to farm a ton of meat. We're gonna to go to the second area in the game from chapter two, and to the right of the base is where we're gonna find a bunny corn. I think that's what it's called. It's basically a bunny with a spike on his head. It'll drop meat and cotton. So what I did is I littered the place with a bunch of spike traps so that all I had to do is just run around and just pick up meat until I have a lot of it. You're gonna want at least 50 per pet bowl because they eat about three pieces of meat per day. All right, so now that you have the meat, put it in the pet's bowl and now we have to wait for their happiness to go up to 100%. But while we're waiting, we're going to complete the optional tablet target called Grow a Lot of Different Crops. This will unlock rare crops. So the next part, I'm going to show you the location to where the 10 crop seeds are in the Explorer Island. But if you don't need a certain seed, just use the timestamps to jump around to any part of the video. Because most likely you have some left over from the main story. But just in case, I'll show you where 10 of them. There is 11 of them in the video, but I don't know if coffee beans actually count. So I'll be back for the next section.
All right, so even though you learn how to build a natural field in chapter one, I'm basically gonna just show you quickly exactly what I did. You will need at least nine or so fertilizer, wooden fencing about 30, you need a wooden gate and a scarecrow. Once you put all that together, then you will build a natural field. I recommend you doing a separate one for the strawberry, but if you don't wanna do that, you can just do one big one and then throw all your random seeds that we just picked up previously and then have a bunch of seeds for strawberries because we need the rare strawberries, which is called more berries. This is key for the breeding. Also in the pinned comment, I'll have a description on what you need to do with each seed. Does it need a planting pole? Does it need to be planted in the earth? Basically, I will have that broken down, but also you can check in your inventory and hover over the seed and it'll tell you exactly what you need to do. Okay, so in order to breed pets, we need a rare strawberry called more berries. You can see it right there. They look like a pink strawberry. We're gonna need a bunch of those because we need to give each pet their own. This is why I made a dedicated field for strawberries. Now at the end, I end up having a ton of them left over, but just make sure that you get a bunch of strawberry seeds, plant them so that you have enough to get you by in the very beginning. All right, so now it's time to breed. Couple things to note, animals need to be fully mature, which the original ones don't have to be, it's just the babies will be, and their happiness needs to be at 100%. To check, build a resident register, and then you'll be able to see what the animals are currently at. When both is achieved, then you'll be able to give both animals that you wanna breed their own Morberry. At the top right corner of the screen is a sun slash moon icon, which will tell us the time of day. You want to feed the animals when the sun is going down between 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Next, you need to go to sleep. As soon as the animals are sleeping in their bed, which you can tell because you'll see like little bubbles coming from their head as if they were dreaming, you will go to sleep and the next day you'll get a notification that the two animals had a baby. Now you're going to need to rinse and repeat and have a second baby. What you'll notice is that the two babies will be different colors compared to the original animals. This is basically the second generation. We need to breed two second generation animals to get a third generation, which will be a different color from the last. The second and third generation will need to be fully mature and their happiness at 100% before you can start breeding. This part will definitely take you the longest and most of the time you'll be sitting AFK. Once you breed two of the third generation animals, you will get a fourth generation animal, which is the rare pet needed for the trophy called Rare Breeder. Keep in mind, once you have two babies, you can send the previous generation to another place so that you don't have to continue to feed them. To break this down one more time, the two original pets will have two babies, which will be the second generation, and it will be different colors from the last. Send the original animal somewhere else. The second generation pets will have two more babies which will be a different color and that'll be the third generation send the second generation pets somewhere else and then the third generations will have a baby which will be the fourth generation and that is a rare pet now this took a couple days to figure out all the different trials and errors so if you run into any issues please leave them in the comments down below but other than that i hope you all enjoy the video don't forget to like and subscribe to support the channel and i will see you next time